It is Wednesday, March the 13th, 2024, at about 1 o'clock in the morning. And I want to show you a clip from the documentary Investigating the Claims of Psychics, um, which I will link in the description. But as you watch this particular clip for this exercise, what I'd like for you to do is to consider um, what it would mean to this individual here if people were able to connect with their own ancestors. And as a hypothetical, another a deeper hypothetical, what do you imagine someone like this would be willing to do to maintain what he considers an exclusive capacity to contact people's um, lost loved ones? That would have... Of course, yes. Okay. You know, I, I'm quite happy. Your mum's come through, mm. she talked about the five kids. Okay, that is good enough for me. But five kids? Five. She was one of five. Oh, she was one of five. One of five, five yeah. yeah. Right. But you seem to be trying to, as if I need to prove to you. No, I'm very open minded. I was hoping. Yeah. No, no, very open minded. Yeah. No. But that's why I, I would have preferred not meeting Darren Brown. No, no. So, anyway, no, I'm no, going to no, say thank you with that. Okay. And thank you, Carlos. Thank, 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 thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Okay, talk to me. You, you seem unhappy. Well, I'm unhappy because you told me a blatant lie. Which and was? You, see, you told me that you had not been in this house. I told you I had been in that house. No, you told me you had not been in this house. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've been in, you've, you've met these people. I have, I have briefly met them, yes, I have, Thank yeah. you. But is that, don't you think that's absolutely terrible? That, to me, is terrible. Joe, if you don't stand here and continue the conversation, you're not going to hear what I say in response to that. You've been in the house, you're supposed yeah. to be a famous person, you was never meant to be in the house. Joe, I'm going to be honest with you, it seems like if you do a it bad reading, like you blame me. everybody it else other like than yourself. Me, it's her fault, it's, it's, it's my it's, fault, it and it's not your it fault. It is, you wow. shouldn't have gone into the house, it was corruption. What's to do with it, Joe? Corruption. Make a difference. Make a difference. Corruption. That is absolutely terrible. Bad showmanship, Darren. Bad showmanship. I don't know what... OK, you, so you think by, by me being in there and being sceptical, yeah, that no, makes her more sceptical. No, no, yes. You've got to draw a fine line of be, what is yeah. real and what is sick. Yeah. Yeah, and some of the things what I do is real because I am touching people, right, and in a nice things? way. Yeah. And sometimes when you push overboard yeah. and you're taking literally the piss out of sceptics and mediums when there's real gifted people out there, Okay, that's when it draws a line. As I said, I'm quite disappointed in the outcome. Okay. It was nothing to do with um, you. Mm -hmm. you know, there was no influence from you whatsoever. I mean, from, from watching him, it feels like if he... If he, things start to go a bit wrong, he'll keep bringing back up the information that he got right, and he kept bringing up, kept going back to the five. That yeah. they were, she was one of five, five kids, so he kept coming back to that. And yeah. So did she have five? With well, it, with no, think about it now afterwards. Sorry, it was six. <laughs> oh, it was six? Yeah. yeah. I said uh, a quick count on my fingers, and I thought five, then including me mum, would have been So six. she was one of six, not one of five? No, one of six, yeah. For me, my time spent with Joe has come down to a tale of two very different readings. One, a great success. And another, which didn't go so well. Lunder's reading was a very, very good reading, and it wasn't cold reading. Um, you can tell because cold reading always follows a certain pattern, a pattern of throwing out information, letting the other person make it fit, and then kind of taking credit for it yourself as a psychic. And he certainly wasn't doing that. He was giving information. He's saying I'm 93. <gasps> and it was a very, very different situation with the second lady. Is the Jimmy or James connected? No. In my opinion, it looked like cold reading and bad cold reading. And he says that that was invalid because I'd said hello to this woman before and that my mere presence there would have made her more skeptical. I actually don't really see why that would stop her relatives who loved her from coming through. I still don't really see why that would make it not work. And I think you're left with the same either or. Either he is he is genuine, all this is just very unfortunate, he's just had a bad week, but he is genuine, in which case there's a lot more questions to be asked. It's uh, a fascinating thing that we should embrace and look more closely at. Or his Fake. You know, and he's not just doing not just doing card tricks, he's involving himself with people who are bereaved and, and, and vulnerable. If that's if that is what he's doing, 
that is an insult not only to the memory of the deceased but also to the dignity of the bereaved. Lastly, for what reason do people typically seek psychics or faith healers and what emotional state are they usually in during these um, readings or sessions or whatever you want to call it? In a world where everyone lived in a place that felt like paradise and they were safe, healthy, and happy, how often do you imagine they would feel the need to contact an ancestor or to have their fortune foretold or to um, be given advice or guidance on how to live their life so that they have a future that is successful? 